but not only cancer operations can be done with robotics, but we're seeing more and more um, operations in, in urology done, uh, say for pelvic organ prolapse. So those operations, again, um, historically have been done open and laparoscopically they can be a little bit tricky to learn and to teach other surgeons how to do because you have to sew laparoscopically and that's difficult um, but again the robot makes it very easy it's, it's just like being really and it's just like really doing an open procedure um, you're on the outside but it works like you're really operating on the inside it's nice to, you know when a patient has to have an operation for cancer or reconstruction or whatever it may be to have options a lot of times they want to know what else is there it's nice being at uh, Urology Austin because there's so many of us with, with such a broad uh, skill set. So it's hard for one person to be able to do everything very efficiently all the time. Um, but being in a big group is nice because we have guys very adept at open surgery, guys very adept at laparoscopic and robotic and then everything in between.